France is to ban students from wearing a type of Muslim dress called an abaya in state-run schools from the beginning of September. There have been months of debate over whether the loose-fitting full-length robe should be allowed in schools where the wearing of headscarves is already banned. Well, let's go live to Paris now to speak to our correspondent Hugh Schofield. Hugh, what can you tell us? Yeah, well, this is the latest, isn't it, in, in the long-running uh, row over laïcité, secularism in, in France, and, um, and particularly in the schools. As you referred to back there, um, in, in 2004, the law came in which banned ostentatious signs of religion in schools. It was a way of enforcing uh, this strict idea of separating religion and state. That meant that uh, headscarves were out, but also kippers for Jews and, and, and crosses for, uh, for Christians. Um, since then, we've had the Burkini debate, of course, and now, now this, the Abaya debate. It's come about because um, the government says in the last year or two, more and more teenage girls, late adolescent girls in lycée, age sort of 15, 16, 17, are wearing these Abayas, big long robes, culturally from the, the Middle East, which the government says are a clear um, sign of their religious belonging, um, and, and therefore fall under this 2004 law <coughs> concerning uh, signs of religious display in schools. <coughs> the um, rectors of schools, headmasters, headmistresses, have long been asking for clear guidance from uh, the government because it's been a <coughs> an unclear situation. Should they or should they not ban these garments? Well, now they've got their answer. The government has stepped in in the form of Gabriel Attal, the, uh, the um, education minister, just before the start of this term and says that from next week when schools go back, it will be banned. The abaya, you will not be able to get into the school with an abaya. We await with some interest, though, the, the, the text which will flesh out the application of this law. What exactly is it going to say? Because one of the objections is that it's very hard to define what this uh, this garment is. Um, and, and some people have pointed out to, on, online that a, you know, a long Western robe, um, something highly fashionable from Gucci, could also fall under this, this banner of being... Um, uh, a kind of sign of Muslim, Muslim faith. So there's a lot of grey areas surrounding this. Um, all we can say in terms of reaction is that the schools are broadly favourable because it gives them clarity. The centre and the right are happy because it, for them it enforces, um, you know, the, the, this notion of uh, uh, of secularism. Uh, and on the left, there's there's great division. Um, but there is a, a lot of opposition on the left, mainly from the the Nupes party. That's the um, the coalition on the left. You say that this shows how the government is picking on Muslims uh, and have an obsession with them.